Hello everybody, welcome to Angie Blog. I hope you're doing well. So I don't know where Divine is taking me, where it's going, but I'm just utilizing this beautiful uh, energy, Leo season energy, and I'm sure a lot of you are feeling it. <laughs> so I've been divinely guided to just dance, <laughs> okay? And also give you some tips. I already gave you some on, if you look at the community board, there's a song that I was divinely guided to, sh um, like a playlist for Divine Masculines. But also, uh, I've been divinely guided to show my divine feminines who want to continue, you know, remaining celibate, being patient, and waiting for your divine masculine to come to you. Because, you know, just like some of them have to do some healing, some other things, and in order for you not to stay waiting for them, because that creates attachment and also delays your, uh, for them to come in okay and also prevents that running chaser kind of energy kind of thing so i've been divinely guided to show you some things that uh you know just to keep the divine feminine sacred enjoy this 88 88 or 88 portal of the lion's gate uh again i have leo in my chart so i am like Whoa! <laughs> So I've been writing, I've been, you know, getting ready for your reading for Libra and Gemini. So maybe if you have Libra and Gemini in your chart and you're feminine, this is for you, okay? So yes, we're going to do some belly dancing. And it's interesting when I was looking for belly dancing, I usually, I don't know, I've been rusting these days, but there's something that I always love to do, belly dancing. And uh, today I'm dancing for the divine, for Gaia, not for any men, okay? This is not for men, so don't get your cool subs and stuff like that, okay? Seriously, return it back to sender, okay? This is not for no men, okay? This is for myself, for divine, for other divine feminines who, you know, want to embrace your dancing, any type of dancing, it doesn't have to be anything, but that's one of the reasons that I kept saying that and to enjoy the sexual energy that is going around and not to leak it and not that to temptation and not, you know, trash yourself and lower yourself to low vibration and start having multiple sex with multiple people because it's really, it just, it creates lack, okay? And also it feels like it makes you more abundant and more insecure and it's it's kind of like addiction it's like a high right and it's not healthy for you okay so what i'm saying is that divine wants to show you guys through me and perhaps other divine feminists who get the encouraged as well to do this okay to show you other ways where you can use this sexual energy yes you can play with yourself of course why not just like I said, try not to think of the person that you actually want to be with if you're in separation. Why? Because it creates more blockages. It, creates, it lowers your vibration for you and your divine masculine, okay? I've been divine and guided to share you this with you guys because there's something that we haven't been taught this and also the devil benefits a lot that you do sex magic for your person so it keeps the block it just keeps the separation it keeps you guys not together. So we're here to break those generational curses and Fuck you, demon, right? And that too, we're gonna use that uh, that energy also for the light way, okay? So we can do, if you, you know, need to, you know, release this energy, release it with any type of way, but do it in a way that it's healing for perhaps for Gaia, for other people, maybe uh, sick people. I know it's kind of weird to do that, but if you do it in a way that it's kind of like healing, but also using that sexual energy for that. But also you don't have to be touching yourself. You could be dancing, you could be painting, you could be maybe cleaning your place. Like that's what I've been doing, cleaning my whole place, you know? You can do many things with your energy. So basically the divine is saying that you don't necessarily need to numb yourself with sex or alcohol or drugs or all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can do better than that. Also, it's trying to teach us that even though some of us choose to stay stuck in the 3D, low vibrational energy, we are within the 5D in the 3D as well, okay? So basically it's saying it's a choice. You can either stay in the, in the low vibration or go into the high vibration. Yes, it's harder to work on the high vibration because, you know, you have to have self-worth, self-standard, you have to heal, you have to do the shadow work, inner work, decolonization, you have to... Uh, make the subconscious uh, conscious, which is very, very difficult. So basically healing takes a long time, but also that too, it's like once you're, you're, you choose that, you choose your healing, you choose to be in the higher self, you, you find inner peace, joy, uh, so much um, way to be vulnerable, you know, um, self-care, uh, you start caring more, you have more empathy, right? The same thing that 
everyone in this entire world doesn't want that is operating in apathy, we actually train ourselves to be more empathetic by caring for ourselves and not only caring for ourselves, letting go of ego, uh, pride, and stop being selfish and greedy. So also we create more empathy, not only for ourselves, but for others in the planet, okay? So that too, that's what I'm doing as well. I dance for Gaia. When I do my meditation, I send her healing. I send her, uh, you know, find ways of she can guide me. Where can I connect more to reduce CO2? How can we do this? You know, how can we, um, you know, protect more indigenous communities through our energy, through our energy field? How can we send them more healing, more protection, more support? Um, how can we do this? Find out, can you, if I manifest any money, can I ask God if can I use this to help this community so that's what I do so basically it's kind of like manifesting if you use the sexual energy and do constructive conscious productive things then also that makes you happy that makes you feel joyful so I'm doing all the things that my inner child you know loves to do so and also I love doing it right and also uh, it makes me happy so you can have many talents. For example, it could be painting, writing, it could be singing, it could be music, it could be dancing, anything. So whatever it is that you like to do, just go ahead and do it. That's really it, okay? So instead of like trying to numb it and trying to leak your energy with low vibrational people and now I'm not saying like those who want to go into dates, that's fine. Go into dates, that's totally fine. It's good to have conversations with people and get to know people, see things from different perspective, but just don't have sex with them. I know this is gonna trigger a lot of people because all of you is like right away okay we're we having sex yet or you know and that too when someone's not patient and they just want to have sex with you right away without getting to know you without because being intimate is actually having conversation being vulnerable with, with someone right and getting to know a person it's not just having sex right away with them you know so that too is like you don't have to have sex with someone right away as first day second like you know what i'm saying like save that energy for when it's actually and also that too it makes the as you know the expectation and the anticipation even better you know so that's it like don't i don't know you do what you want it's a free will but i'm just saying like anybody who's not patient with your you know if you don't want to you know be intimate with someone right away uh in terms of like intimacy i see it as a sexual intimacy if you don't want to be doing that then that's fine and I don't know, I've been divided guided that those who have been, you know, if you know that your person, maybe they were vulnerable with you and told you that they have been sexually abused, you have to be understandable. If you don't, you don't deserve that person. You have to let them go, okay? It's, it's serious because they have a, a different boundary than most people and they need their time and, and place before they get intimate with anybody, okay? So if you're not that type of person who understands that, who is not patient, you're you don't deserve that person okay i'm just putting it out there for some of y'all who get confused about that and think that a person who has been molested or abused in any type of way and this could be men or women by the way it's not just women okay men as well you have to understand you have to be patient you have to understand the other person okay now if somebody is not patient and wants to have sex with you right away and stuff like that and you don't want to that's a cross of a boundary run okay that's not your person it's a karmic i'm telling you right now i'm just saying to all of you and i'm not saying that everybody's perfect we've all been karmic to someone somehow somewhere you know we've all been before we got connected to god before we had that relationship we were in you know we we're in angels right let's be honest here right so that's what i'm saying like you know we all made mistakes and stuff like that but we learn from those mistakes we learn that those are things that are not good they're low vibration and then now we're um committed and using responsibility and accountability for our actions and also changing those things and not doing them again okay so that's it that's what he kept saying today like kept showing me that um people who choose let's say if they're they were karmic and then they choose to be different they choose to you know go with god have that relationship with god ask for forgiveness and repentance and stuff like that that we can judge other people for their past you know that they have let go of that and they're different now so there's a lot of people who have seen their karmic ways have decided to change so all those of people have decided to stay in the 3d envious jealous doing fucked up shit to other people trying to jeopardize connections and stuff like that because they're they can't stand it because they don't want to change they're not willing to change they're greedy and selfish and blah 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 that's their problem okay those of you who 
are willing to change, are healing and balance and working on your spiritual awakening, working on, you know, going through the ego death, which is not easy, okay? And having your, going through your ascension symptoms and stuff like that. Hello, conscious creative people, what up? Anyway, so let's get into it. <laughs> so I'm going to do a belly dancing skit uh, that I did in high school. I know that if some people from high school <laughs> see this video, they're gonna be like, oh my God, I know this. <laughs> So I'm going to try to remember the, the steps that I used to do uh, when I danced uh, for the first time in high school. Yes, I know. I just, I it just, it's funny how I found the song and I was like, oh my God, I remember the steps. So I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to do the whole thing, but I just wanted to encourage divine feminines and also divine masculines. Okay. Um, you know, send your person good vibes and them good healing so they can deal with the separation because it's hard, you know, uh, you know, trying to work on patients right and uh, being you know serving their energy and stuff like that also that too guys if you're not really into dancing or not really into creativity and stuff like that meditation is beautiful praying as well going into nature okay uh cooking i'm hearing cooking so if you haven't maybe you don't know how to cook maybe you know teach yourself go on youtube and start cooking and stuff or take a cooking class or you know what i'm saying cooking is very therapeutic um, maybe doing some agriculture or maybe planting or I don't know planting something if that's something that uh, you know uh, if you're close to uh, the ocean and stuff like that go have a picnic if you're by yourself you know there's many ways that you can um, you don't really need anybody other than yourself remember there's so many twin flame is you first that's the whole point of this the whole point of the journey right and then that's it like once you guys are combined this divine connection is which is, you know, is two people with very, very gifted and talented and bringing change into the world, right? So that's why I'm not losing hope that change system and things are gonna change, you know? I know it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be, you know, intense. Not only that, it's just, you know, God has been telling me that love is the highest frequency. It can break any spell, any witchcraft, it can, you know create change and i i really highly believe that and i feel like also gaia is teaching us that way you know the way how she showed us love with you know with nature and stuff like that and right now she's showing us exactly what we're showing her right so if we're not taking accountability responsibility in terms of climate change then she's gonna keep ret retaliating right she's gonna keep right so it's normal it's like it's like you're trying to treat uh, treat an animal trapped and uh thinking that it's not gonna find its way out right or you know fight its way to uh you know it's a survival right so we all have it within ourselves and so is our planet okay so yeah and that too i'm proud of you guys who have been calling out billionaires and people who are toxic and motherfuckers thank you I appreciate you okay continue doing it because they need to be held accountable and also that too is like there we have to find ways of how to create equity absolutely there has to be a tax to the billionaires tax to anybody because it's not right what they're doing I think honestly uh, riding and flying in a jet during this time is a huge like fuck you to all of us and it's not fair just because they have money that's selfish and greedy and it's not right, okay? And that too, there's actually a fuck you to their own home, to their own planet. And we shouldn't accept that, okay? Doesn't matter if they're celebrities, doesn't matter if they're important or whatever. They're not better than God. They're not better than their home, right? Stop uh, idolizing these celebrities and billion people, you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, you know? Even myself too, like sometimes I'm like, you know, oh, but you were like, you know, listening to Beyonce and stuff like that, you know? But at the same time, it's like, I'm not idolizing her. I'm not putting her as a like, you know, but her music is awesome. By the way, go listen to it. Her new uh, album, Renaissance. <gasps> Anyways, I was like literally dancing like nonstop. That's another one. But I'm not actually like praising her. And you know what I'm saying? It's just that I appreciate her gifts, her talent. There's nothing wrong with that. God wants us to appreciate other people who are anointed and gifted there. But also we should hold them accountable. Taking that beautiful renaissance and use it for good. Whatever money that comes from that beautiful album, use it for the planet and others and help others. Right? Pay that karmic debt. That's how we do it. 
anybody who's an influencer, content creators and stuff like that, you got to do it. Okay. Also, those who are starting a new business, an online business, there's ways that you can create maybe your clients or people who purchase on your website, they can, you know, plant trees, look at the quota of how many people bought in your the, the past week and plant some trees and then let them know that will actually, you know, by the way, there's a pl tree planted because you purchased some stuff in my, hey, you're helping the climate and you're also bringing good business for you and then other people feel appreciated and encouraged to buy from you again because not only they feel like they're doing something for the planet but also they're helping you out right just putting it out there and if anybody wants some information on how to do that send me an email i will help you i don't care i don't want any money for that i just want us to create conscious businesses now I want us to create circle and economy within our online businesses. And I want us to be different than Amazon and all these people because we can. We can. And I want to show you how. If you don't know how, if you know how, you figure it out. You go into my CO2 on my website, writersafe.com. You go into the CO2 neutral. You figure it out how to do it. Then awesome. But if you need any help with that, email me. And I will show you and I will send you how to do it. Okay? Okay? great i probably will be planting a tree after this because why not for guy yeah i know it doesn't fix the problem but hey every type of a way i like i said i do plant trees every podcast every video every subscriber that uh, not every subscriber but every milestone of subscribers that i get or views that i get uh anybody who purchased from the eco stores right away anything action done in the in the website right away plants trees right away so all right, so let's do this. Oh, my legs! Oh, I sat down for too long. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> Bear with me. Oh, my knees are right.
it for me. Point. Move your hips. That's it. That's how you release the break cycles and heal your chakras. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video. Love you.